Let's have a look at the coolest advice powered by Crompton Air Coolers, Jaldi Cooling. Simon, you've really turned on the heat. <laughs> but, uh, you know, someone who... You've got to earn your spot. <laughs> You know, Shikhar, who is leading the side and he is opening, uh, the heat is on him as well because he's getting the runs. Because it's you, we have to talk about strike rate. <laughs> the strike rate there, 133, not very impressive for an opener. Uh, no, but if he's batting long periods of time and guys around him, we've talked about this a lot, guys around him are striking at 145, 150, 160. That's, I have no problem with that. The thing is, you've still got to be winning games. You know, and they had a great opening partnership in the previous game. I think it was 102 mm -hmm. uh, with, with Johnny Bairstow. They were in a great position in the 11th over to chase down that, uh, that high score of 199. Couldn't do it. Couldn't get the job done because he got out and they couldn't carry on. So if you're scoring at that strike rate and you win the game, doesn't matter. I've always said that. It is about winning games for your team. And if, you're getting, if your strike rate's a bit low and you're getting out at the wrong times, you lump in a lot of pressure on the guys coming and having to strike at 13, 14 and over straight away. And that's exactly what happened in that previous game. So, yep, I'm okay with it if guys around you are striking high, and I'm okay with it if you win games. Mm. But when you get out and lump pressure on guys coming in, having to score 14, 15 and over straight away, that is too difficult. Joy, do you have some coolest advice for Shikhar? No, absolutely, look, there are two things, okay? Uh, I go back to one is when you're chasing, the other is when you're batting first. Especially when you're batting first and you say that, okay, this is, say, today what was par was 170, 180, it's now has to be 200. Mm -hmm. The par has gone up 10, 15, 20 runs, okay? The problem that uh, Shikhar is having is he's not trusting his remaining batters. Yeah. So he's batting at a particular pace. Now what happens there is, even if you bat at that pace because you don't trust and play deep, if you're reaching that 170, 180, it's no longer a winning total nine times out of ten. So what you have to do is tell yourself, if I have to win matches, and it's exactly that, it's winnability. Mm. You know, if you're chasing 140, of course, bat at 130, bat at 100, it doesn't matter, you need to get across. But if you're batting first, especially when you're setting targets or you're in a situation like that, you have to say that even if I bat deep, if you're not reaching 180, we're not winning this. We're not reaching 200, we're not winning this match. And that is what he has to look at and say that I therefore have to go at a particular rate, especially while setting targets. Mm. Because I cannot afford to have a situation where the others just have too much to do and we don't get across the line. Otherwise, just I'm, 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 otherwise you just end up what we call stat padding. You know, mm. you, your stats will look good, but it doesn't work. Yeah. So your advice also would be to trust the batters Trust to the rest of them. Do your job. Mm. Do your job at a particular, because you're getting the new ball, you're getting two two fielders, just two fielders outside. Do your job up front. And his, his job to take off is as soon as Johnny Bairstow got out in that last yes. game. Don't put the pressure on the next man coming in to be the aggressor. Allow him to settle in. And if he's if Schick is still in and they've got a decent start, his job is then to up his strike rate a lot and go hard and allow the new batter to settle in. And then if Shiki gets out, the new batter's job is to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But someone at some stage through this tournament through every game has got to be the guy being a little bit more aggressive you know unless you're at the back end of the innings and both have got to go all right so this was uh, simon and joy's coolest advice but a lot of fans have given their coolest advice let's have a look at the two winners for today's uh, game uh, so this is uh, mohammad's tweet which uh, says gujarat need to launch a spin bowling attack during the power play to limit the opposing team score early on dhawan was struggling to play against leg spin so rashid khan made the breakthrough in the power play itself reducing the overall team score let's see our second winner for the day Okay, this is, uh, this says not much, <laughs> you're doing very well, but if Kane Williamson is given a chance, then you will have a solid middle order and Shubman will also get support in the captaincy. Very interesting, but I mean, considering GT has been winning, we don't know if they'll change it out, but these two are the winners today for the coolest advice powered by Crompton Air Coolers, Jaldi Cooling. Uh, if you all have any better advice, more serious advice, more quirky advice, any kind of advice, and you all think probably you all could win big, share your hashtag coolest advice to win big, exciting prizes, courtesy Crompton Air Coolers, Jaldi Cooling.